approved for production in 1990, the M1A2 represents the U.S. Army's technological upgrade from the basic M101 design and is the most modern battle tank in the world. Similar to the M101, the most notable exterior changes to the M1A2 are the redesigned Commander's Weapon Station and the addition of the Commander's independent thermal viewer on the left side of the turret in front of the loader hatch. Internally, the M1A2 has been radically redesigned to take advantage of newer technologies. The most notable of these improvements is the addition of a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle information system. The IVIS system enables automatic and continuous exchange of information between vehicles. By entering the information provided by the position slash navigation system on board, command units can track the location and progress of elements automatically without assigning vehicles. Additionally, enemy positions can be identified, plotted, and disseminated, while artillery reports and requests can be automatically formatted, sent, and greeted. Charts Map control measures and operational commands that can be developed quickly through the IVIS system. To ensure information security, all IVIS data transmissions are routed through the Sinker's M1A2 radio system. The Tank Killer Commander's improved handoff method pioneered on the German Leopard 2, the M1A2 takes it a step further by providing the commander with an independent thermal site. This CITV site allows commanders to independently observe targets in all weather conditions and through battlefield barriers. In addition to the IVIS and CITV, the M1A2 incorporates a number of additional electronic enhancements. Power distribution across the tank has been improved, relying on multiple bus lines so that if one line breaks, power can still be delivered to components via alternative routes. The instrument display has improved the digital display for more detail and the shooter's primary sight has been stabilized in two axes for increased accuracy. Approved for implementation in 1995, the M1A2 system enhancement package is a technology upgrade and standardization program in which the Army's M1 and M1A2 fleet will all be brought to a common standard. The most notable modifications were the introduction of an additional power unit under the standard shield and the addition of air conditioning and crew cooling units. As part of the fleet upgrade program, 547 of the Army's M1 inventory is currently being upgraded to the M1A2 SEP standard, which will require a complete remanufacturing of the turret, while the current M1A2 fleet will undergo a retrofit to bring it to SEP standard.